Welcome to Darcy's. Darcy's back. Woo. Welcome <laughs> to Sierra Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and cats and Darcy. And cats. Uh, welcome. We're going to be playing some Atari 2600 games today. Two exclusive world premieres. Ooh, that's yes. exciting. A good one to come back for, Darcy. You're on Ooh. vacation. Welcome back. No, I don't need any cheap viewers. I, have I want that. expensive viewers. I want quality viewers, not cheap viewers. There we go. Some spam. Bye bye, spam. Um, today we're going to be playing In Search of the Treasures. Uh, that's the English version name. The um, Portuguese name is Embusca dos Tesoros. Probably not, but that might be close. <laughs> Uh, exclusive world premiere for the 2600 by Bitnamic Software. And we're also going to be playing Lava Trip uh, by Good Deal Games. Exclusive world premiere, both for the 2600. Very exciting. Yeah, uh, and because Darcy's here, Thomas can be <laughs> here because I can, I can oh, only do early days right, right. with you and Erlen because okay. uh, Tanya's working. So now Thomas can be back in the chat and all the people in Europe can watch the show live. Well, soon AI will learn how to talk to cats and then you can oh, have ooh, cat co-hosts. And then the whole world will uh, <laughs> self-destruct Yes, <laughs> for some reason. Because if the cats can start talking, they'll start taking over. They've been biding their time. Yes, so far, far they've been only getting their way with cuteness, and soon they'll be able to talk their way into. Yep, they sausages. they just they they're sausages. able to enslave us with uh, by getting us to feed them and clean their litter box. <laughs> you're like, mm, 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 my litter box is full. Come clean it. Yeah, they've already got us under their control. So mm. I don't even know if they would go any further. Yeah. <laughs> um, has Sid met Darcy? Yes. yes. We're buddies Both now. Been on the show. We're yeah, buddies. Buddies. He's, he's on Darcy's lap right now. Cuddling. Uh, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers scrolling gently beside Darcy down to the corner. Al the Fur Andrew, Atari Arms Car Coder, Atari 974, Atari DPR, Bruno Stax, Happy Class, Charles Spawning Up, Mao, Charles Will and Chitla, Concord Rangers here in Aribo, DNI, Dan FC, DMC, Dr. Mukaus, Eric Cart, Gamma Dev, Gisberto Rondinella. Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Eduardo, Ju, JG, Johnny, Johnny WC, Caputo, Coder, Carl G, Carrick, Crockle, 2600, developed for Lambda Express, Manny Zipati, Mark Yannis, Mark, Mark Space, Sing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littow, Miss Commander, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Neo Mania, Nostalgia, Coagar, Antares, Render, Ghost, Repentless, VG, Redvid, Tuli, Ricardo, Pimps, Fix, Seat, uh, Smitty B, Spice, Horse, Spinley, S. Ramirez, Strawberry System, D Train, Tiki Dan, KT, Fos, Truck, MD, Tweeny, Vexorx, Vindy T, Gaming Memories, VG, Double Down, X, Ken X, but no Drexel suspiciously missing from the list. Darcy's going to show you right now how to subscribe to Zero Page Homebrew so you two at home can do it and support the show. Keep these cats well fed in um, catnip and also cat treats. Yeah, Tari woke up for that one. I said catnip and treats and he's like, huh? Um, but if you don't want to subscribe, uh, you can also just follow and it'll tell you when we're on live or you can just watch on YouTube later. Um, so let's go to the news. Uh, yes, ZPH is going to PRGE. <gasps> Thank you, Drexel, for subscribing. See? It's that easy. It's that easy. It used to be more complicated. <laughs> yep. Uh, welcome, B.R. Pocock. Yes, yeah, Zero Page Homer is going to PRGE, ah. Portland Retro Gaming Expo, in a week and a bit. Ooh, that's it's, exciting. It's very close. And we're going to have our uh, meetup, our casual, traditional yearly meetup at Ground Control, the arcade. Um, so come join us there. 9 p.m. to midnight when they close. Uh, it's great arcade. Uh, they um, bring some of their arcade machines to PRGE, so you can play them there and play them at ground control. 12 days! Don't say that to Al. He'll freak out. 12 <laughs> days! His head explodes. From all the things he has to do, his to-do list is that long. Yeah. Um, well, you need a little bit of head almost exploding to get that stuff done. You do. If you're too pumps casual. A little, pumps a little juice into your system. <laughs> Reduces your sleep. Yep. 13 of today counts. Does it count? 
Well, most of today's still here on the West Coast, so I would say 13 then. Um, so if you're at uh, PRG and you uh, want to meet up, there we are, Saturday, September 28th. Uh, that is right smack in the middle of PRGE, so you're probably going to be there. Um, some more releases from Atari Age that are going to be uh, physical form at PRGE that been announced recently. Yesterday, Covey Covey, um, a great puzzle action game, one or two players, uh, made by Mark Yannis and Die Fed Hitchings, Marco J and Jam Tex. We played it on the show and uh, we also hosted the world premiere for it. And it also won an Atari Homebrew Award as well. So there you go, quality release. Uh, and it's got traditional packaging. PRGE is is early, sometimes in uh, October, so a little mm. bit earlier this year. Um, and also Minotaur was announced this better morning. Better earlier than late. Yeah, the weather's a bit better. I mean, you're rolling dice. Also anytime late, in September. Late kind of yeah. extends itself. Next thing you know, you skip a year. Oh, yeah, you keep pushing it and pushing it. It's always in September, October. <laughs> Uh, great tank maze game defending your base defending your flag at the bottom from encroaching tanks we played this on the show uh, really really great uh, 12 years in the making it's finally out um, yeah we played it and we said this must be finished and we forced them to finish it it made by uh, Bob Montgomery uh, V-Dub V-Dub Bobby um, so yeah both of those uh, the the uh, games are racking up, so it's going to be a good chunk of games released at PRGE. Uh, let's see what else is in the news. Oh, I updated the Sid over under for the betting, the cat betting. He's too good. He's gotten really good. Have you seen him in action yet? With the cat betting, ringing the bells? Was no. he just learning? Or was he like yeah, not he even... Was, he was like thinking about it i think he <laughs> studying I don't think, the bell I don't think he yeah i think he was like not belling at all and you were like uh oh <laughs> uh oh we're in trouble <laughs> down to one cat able to ring the bell he is the master he's action cat he is he's so good at it now um we had to up it so we went from one to two and three plus to one to three and four plus <laughs> uh, we've left it left atari at one and two and three plus because you know that's where he's we, at. We can always hope and dream. <laughs> we can hope. <laughs> he has won against Sid, but it was early on. Sid has just mastered it. Yeah, very nice packaging on that. What you need to do is give Minotaur. Sid crappier treats. So he's like, mm, <laughs> that, that yeah. it's okay. Uh, well, that's uh, that's challenging. You know, give you really bad treats. Not just really bad, bad ones. ones. They have to be good, just not as good. <laughs> like, oh, that's mm, very nice. Surprised yeah, everything I, I goes guess I so, could have another one. <laughs> it, surprised everything goes so smoothly today, considering the date. And now it won't. Now that we've said that, it is Friday the 13th. Oh, oh my goodness, but we don't believe in that. So. That's not unlucky anymore. Super lucky. That's so 1980s. Yeah. Pff, uh, pff. Ricardo Pym is driving and watching. That's not advised. Uh, you should be, at best, you should be driving and listening. So don't be watching. Mm -hmm. Just be driving and listening. That's allowed. Yeah. So good luck out there, Ricardo Pam. Great date, in my opinion. Yes. Um. So I think. Um. Sorry. Yes. I think that belly is demanding an assault. Uh. Yeah. Well. Just for a second. Just go over there and grab that belly. Me. Yeah. You have to. I'm. You're pinned here. by a cat. This is. I'm in a. This is oh, my life now situation. Widened. Look at those wide eyes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> belly assault. Oh. <laughs> I had to rub that beige belly. Now he's awake. <laughs> he's like, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was intrusive. Um, so, uh, we're going to get to the first game. All right. Uh, it is called In Search of Treasures. Uh, original title, Embusca dos uh, Tesoros. I apologize. Uh, being released by Bitnamic Software. Uh, the original idea was Tedo by <laughs> Tedo Coringa da Silva. Um, and the new version is Fernando Rodriguez Salvio, who's in the <laughs> chat today. 
So you can fill us in with any information that we might be missing, because there's a lot of information. <laughs> so we won't be going through all of it, but you can read it on your own. Um, so this was first announced on their Facebook page on August 30th. This build uh, I received a couple days ago. It's a 64K game. Uh, Fernando also made Alien Holocaust 1 and 2. And also Jatai the Bee, which they released not too long ago. And they're already releasing another game. You can already pre-order this game at the Bintnavic website. So if you like it, what you see, it is available. Uh, Fernando says it's a port of an old Brazilian game from 1986 for the ZX81. Mm. The game has a long and beautiful story. It has been lost and recently found. Mm. Uh, the game is hard by design. The original is much more hard. <laughs> uh, this is, ROM is 64K. The Atari 2600 Plus will run it with... Psst, psst, psst. Atari. No, no, no. Come here. Psst, psst, psst. Come here. You can watch that cap. Uh, Atari 2600 Plus will run it, but you need to update it. <laughs> He's chewing on the cable. He's thinking about it. Psst, psst. Maybe move him away from it. Just give him a little nudge away from it. And the laptop has, has turned off. I fully blame you. There we go. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> uh, Sid being Sid. Oh my god. What is happening? He's ruined yet another power cable. But the light is on. The cow power cable thing. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. That doesn't necessarily Ooh. indicate something good. Anyway. There is a tooth mark. Of course there is. You need another camera on that, on the laptop, and then you guys can tell me when he's chewing it. Well. He's... All the interesting stuff happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had a wide angle from the ceiling down. You can see everything. Uh, and he says, I use the multi-kernel in Batari. Uh, it's available for pre-order right now. It'll go on sale October 9th at BGS 2024, which is Brazil Game Show. Ah. And pre-orders will be shipped the same day. So if you order it now, that's when they start going out. It's October 9th. Um, so let's take a look at the packaging, which they posted on August 30th on their Facebook page. And just like Jatai the Bee, it comes in a uh, wooden box with some very cool detailed oh can i make that bigger there we go very cool details like a laser cut maze with a whole bunch of little characters in there beautiful beautiful and there it is up close you know, a little fish and a snake a ball spiders alligators oh my and you and some 3D printed uh, characters. Yeah, uh, looking pretty can, good. Uh, give to your kid to play with. No, they ruin it. Um, very, very cool. Quality, quality packaging. It as, is, yeah. As per usual, yeah. And Jatai the Bee was awesome as well that they released recently. It comes, it, you open it up, and it comes with a bee, and the bee has a little stinger, and you use the stinger to open up the rest of the package by putting it in a small hole in the side. <laughs> it's like a key to open it up. A absolutely astounding packaging. So we're going to take a look a little bit about the game history of this. Um, and here's a page that I need to translate so you guys can understand it. Or so I can understand it, more importantly. They already can. They can speak Portuguese. What a video game created by a teenager in Brazil in 1985 teaches us about passion, friendship, and resilience. And what a translation tells us about <laughs> another language. That's right. So we're just going to read a little bit of this, but I'm going to post the link in the chat so you guys can uh, read more. Search for Treasures is a game created in 1986 by the then... Oh, this, uh, this uh, conflicts. 1985, 1986? Uh, who to believe? Hmm. Uh, by the then teenager of 15 years, Tedo Karinga, available in a period in which Brazil limited the entry of foreign technology products by the middle of the so-called national policy of informatics. Call, call. 
Uh, the game surprised a generation with little access to what the world produced in hardware and software terms. Advanced graphics, the amount of screens, and the level difficulty entered the imagination, imagination of those who were accustomed to archaic products for machines with considerable limitations. Copies of what it was produced outside. So um, they were making their own games there. And it has a very robust homebrew scene just uh, to this day now in Brazil. A lot of games coming out of Brazil. And when I'm guessing, I don't know the full history of how Brazil, when they lifted the national policy of informatics. But a lot of Atari 2600 stuff went there afterwards, uh, after the bottom dropped out in North America. And then maybe 10 years ago, it started coming back because they had so much archived boxes and boxes of this stuff. Um, and they sold it all back to North America to collectors again. It's really... Oh, and Alan the First says Brazil is the most plus carts users by far. So it's huge, huge homebrew scene in Brazil. Uh, and there's a uh, setup. I don't know if that uh, replica of the 1980s quarter base setup in Brazil game show 2019. So uh, this is kind of a history of the game. I won't read through it because it's it's quite long. Um, but it tells the history of uh, the game being made and the game being lost and the game being recovered. Um, and there's some animatics of the game. And you can actually play the game. Is this? No, that's just a picture. You can actually play the game on this website. There it is. And you can go play it with left, right, and zero. And let me see if I can start it up. I was able to do it before. Oh, yep, it's reacting. I don't think there's any sound in the web-based one. There we go. So I can move left and right and jump. It took me a while to figure out what jump was. Not spacebar? Not spacebar, not control. Ah! Party time for kittens. Cats, 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 cats. Are kittens party allowed to have drugs? Kittens? Oh, today they are. We start them young. Only when Gamma Dev gives them drugs. <laughs> then they can have it. There we go. I don't know what the... Just the, 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 the little pinch, not too much. Uh, yeah, that's good. There we go. Um, oh. Oh, my goodness. No, so, you gotta go down. No, uh, oh, lots oh, goodness. of cool history there. Um, then, here I go, beast. Come on. Over here. Then we're gonna show uh, the website where Sorry, you beast, can you order oh, it. Ah, oh, you we have to show uh, the cats just for a second. There you go. Yum, yum, yum. Very fall colors on your socks. It's not quite fall yet, but it's getting there. Oh, the cats were uh, the cats are not as uh, reactive today. Last time they like took one sniff and they're rolling like crazy. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh! And he's just attacking me. Needed to hear the word "roll." Roll around. His voice controlled. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Thank you, Gamma Dev. Got to get Sid in the zone. <laughs> get him primed you for get it bell wrong. ringing. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh, combative. <laughs> my drugs. All mine. Oh, all my drugs. <laughs> all I have to do is play with you and you go away. I don't even have to be mean. Just yeah. fun. Don't be so fun, little cat. Why are you so fun? Stop it. <laughs> Get away. Get away, little cat. So here's the uh, <laughs> website if you want to order it. In charge of the adventure, Kid K. Sador. The player must explore the terrible Earth T. Nebroso in search of the incredible treasures. Um, attention due to technical particularities. The game does not work on the Atari 2600, um, except with an update. He did uh, update that. Uh, we are not responsible. <laughs> Delivery on and from the Brazil Game Show. There you go. There's more pictures of the board. Sid, riot. Yeah, he's causing a riot. <laughs> oh, and there's their uh, other game. Well, is, riot, is there a chip, a riot chip? Riot chip, yeah. Which, that's why they're saying which that. One, which one, what is that? What is that in? Uh, that is, I think, in the 2600 as well. Okay. Input, output, timer, R, 
R. Gotcha. R- random? Randomized? No, there's no random on a 2600. What's the what R stand for? Would they for? say that there was Damn. random, even if there wasn't? Uh, no, it would be nice if the 2600 had a random randomizer. People have had come up with ways to do it. Ram. I'll the first. Ram. Ram. Okay. Ram input output timer. Uh, now I'm going to show you a, real, a nice little cute little trailer that was made. The game. Desafios, criaturas selvagens e tesouros incríveis. Eu sou aventureiro Kid Caçador. Not a great translation. That just makes it better. <laughs> it does. It's very poor, bro. The ox or the chicken. Georgia, live. God, take. No. Não se aproxime de mim. Sou uma aranha perigosa e nervosa. Add to the danger that is based on. Perigosa e fatal. Ninguém consegue sobreviver. Who needs graphics when you can have imagination? That's the mantra for the Atari 2600. So this is obviously an ad for the, the graphics are pretty um, good, though. original game. Oh, like, yeah. I can tell that's a fish. Oh, that yeah. was very clearly a, a spider. A, uh, character. Piranha. So that was a bit of an older uh, ad, but not for the 2600 version, but for the ZX81. I mm. thought I'd show it anyway because it's kind of cool. Gives you a little bit of an idea. Um, and we're going to take a little peek at the manual for the 2600 game. Just a tiny little peek at it. Don't want to give away too much. There's the front of the manual. And this is the, obviously the Portuguese manual. Mm. Um, and then some green. And Busca dos tes- Tesoros from Bitnamic Software. And then some. Uh, and there's some screenshots. Very nice. I did love my Timex Sinclair 1000, even though it was objectively a piece of crap. And that's <laughs> the equi- North American equivalent of the ZX. And one of them? 81, maybe? Yeah, a little jungle hunt, a little pitfall. I think that I m- might have been what they're going for. Well, when they it's were like making... we, we had this thing at, in, in the game store. People would come in and they'd have made their own game. Right. And like sometimes their game would be obviously like Monopoly based. <laughs> right. But it's you go around but the it's edge. because it's because that that's the game that they played. They they played that game and then had a game idea. And it's yes. the same here. Like they played Pitfall, and like it, they don't, you don't even have to be copying the thing. You're just like, oh, this is what a game is. I'm going to make a version of this thing, which is a game. And yep. if Monopoly is your blueprint, you've got a board that you go around. Like, the, and when there's only so many, I mean, back then for the games, there's only so many genres. There's mm-hmm. only so many games made back then. They are working from like this set of ideas. Otherwise, they have to like just have a mind trip and figure out a whole new uh paradigm of type of game right yep. there's space shooters there was platformers not really 3d-ish there's a little bit of 3d going on right yeah so yeah they worked with what was already out there yep. like they said there was some sort of high tariff embargo so they were looking outside of the country going yep. what could we make for ourselves that would be fun yep. yeah zx81 with 2k of ram instead of 1k oh 2k oh uh, I like the phrase, not entirely unlike. <laughs> yes, we're not copying. It's not entirely unlike this other game. Uh, uh, Embusca dos Testoros ZX81 version was the first Binamic official physical release. Oh, there's a nice piece of trivia. Thank you. Uh, almost, but not completely unlike. Okay, it's time to get into the game, I think. So let's uh, fire up. 600 and I'll give that to you and we will uh, 
Uh, he doesn't really chew cables. I know, but like fair is fair. Yeah, <laughs> fair is fair. He likes to like he put his mouth on it and he did this. No, no, no. So small, I can just move him over a little bit. Um, so go to small. the top one there. No, nope. my rounds. Yeah. I'll just do this. Up. Okay. Now wait a second. He likes um, that, the uh, Velcro. That's what he really likes. Hi, buddy. Okay, so this is an exclusive. Oh, where, where am I? There I am. So this is an exclusive world premiere. Excellent. So select that first top one there. Yes. It's a parody, so they can't sue us. Yes. Has to be funny, though. <laughs> and Busca dos tesoros. Tesoros, not tesoros. Okay. I'm not pressing any buttons because I get in trouble when I press buttons sometimes. Hell yeah, you do. Pre-pressing the buttons before they need to be pressed. Okay, so I don't think there's like explicit instructions of like... Uh, every tower collection says the game audio is overpowering our voices. Oh, it's very loud. And you don't want us to talk louder. Okay, okay. there we go. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> no, because I had to get a, a baseline level. <laughs> now it should be good. Thank you, ITC. Um, so yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward. I don't have explicit instructions on how to play. Um, and I have uh, English translated, auto-translated instructions from the manual. So if you want to... I don't want instructions. That's not how games are played. Press the, the way button. you play is you die. That's right, and you, you die, learn and then from you it. get upset about it, and we, you we're the human throw equivalent. the controller on the ground, and you never play again. We're the human equivalent <laughs> of AI. We just throw ourselves into the game, and we learn from dying, and yes. we learn don't do that, yes. and do that. No, you we should learn, have said something. We learn about lying from the source. Dar Darcy's, Darcy's. Can we go press the button now? Press it. And we saw a bit of the uh, bit of the intro. Some bouncing scorpions. Oh, oh I Darcy would just like to it. say, I appreciate an easy jump on the first. <laughs> <laughs> Setting you up for there you go. So there are uh, there originally were uh, over three hundred screens for the original game. In this one, there are a hundred screens. Oh. Ho, ho. Do, 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 do. Um, so you have to make it to the end, and there are many, many obstacles. Oh, yeah, press down. Okay. Yay! Oh, water. The fish is in water. So let's learn about the history of the game. The re release. Ah! Oh, you hit your head. The re-release of In Search of Treasures for ZX81 brings I broke my leg. to close a story. And you ah! <laughs> that is live, so you have 76 lives left, which is quite generous. Oh. Uh, if you turn around when you're too close to the edge, um, you're going to fall off the edge. Yeah, so don't turn around. Yay! Yay, everybody's happy that I finally succeeded at what they consider to be very easy i am not sure i the the score is number of levels and you can see that going up ah i think he's on the 12 Take him head on. <laughs> i don't know what this bug thing is but i'm not sure what the rest of the score is fernando can fill us in there oh and now we go up Oh, back up to the top level. So he's on the 15th screen. There's 73 lives. 15th screen. 5-0. I was totally going to fight sure. those cat scorpions. 
Oh, room number. Part cats. of me believes. Part of me believes that uh, they are cats, and part of me believes they are scorpions. <laughs> Cat scorpions. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Only when their mouth is closed. Yeah. But there's no safe ah! place, unlike Pitfall. I gotta jump quick, immediately. Ah! <laughs> Slow to close, fast to open. There you go. Oh! oh. Okay. Uh, the re-release of In Search of Treasures for ZX81 brings to a close a story that has profoundly impacted my personal and professional life. In the early 1980s, using a computer was a new and completely unique experience. For the first time, <laughs> we're no passive consumers of TV shows or unalterable games on video game cartridges. We're able to create our own content, control those images, express our creativity in a medium that had not existed just a few years before. I couldn't get past this. <laughs> and I was quickly playing it. It's hard. Because there's pits. Oh, nice. There's pits, and I don't know if you can fall down those pits, can you? No, you can't. Okay, okay that, so just that treat makes it, it as easier. A... Evil pitfall, yes. Brendel Cat! Brendel Cat. I am Brendel Cat. Um, often the motivation was to make games... Oh, you can fall through. Oh! If you're skilled, like you can so. fall through. He's that good. I was so good! 43, 42. 99 lives seem to be necessary. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Last screen for Darcy. Uh, it could be. I don't see how it isn't. <laughs> I haven't. I got over the flames once. Welcome, once. Retro Demergy. Uh, thank you for the raid. We are playing a new exclusive uh, version. Badly. A new Badly. exclusive game from Brazil in search of the treasures. We've got the dev in the chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. No jumping forward, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, you might want to jump and then kind of go backwards a bit. I think you do need to... Oh, yeah, it's hard. 21 lives left. Uh, often the motivation of these games to make the games behave the way we wanted to and it reflected what was important to us but gaining that control required discipline well you did it you gotta move forward in the meantime uh, knowledge and what why not say sacrifice focused on the programmer not the user mastering the machine required hours of study and experimentation the task was so arduous that we often thought about giving up when in 1986 at the age of nine I saw the advertisement for in search of treasures in the magazine Micro Systemas, which said that this charming game had been programmed by a teenager a little older than me. I realized that my goal was not a dream. It might take a few years, but with enough work, I would get there too and understand computers in depth. Oh no! You do have to watch out for those pits. Yeah, but only if you're skilled. The game should only have three lives. The original one had <laughs> eight. So yeah, hard as hell. There you go, run. Oh, you gotta jump. Darcy's down to zero lives? Oh, it's score. Nice. So it's infinite lives, but it affects your score. Go! Oh, oh my god, I made it! This looks a little bit easier because they're it's not definitely as high, easier. but the gaps are bigger. Last I mean, one. I already made it further. Yep. <laughs> but I'm <laughs> not going to continue to make it further. I'm going to die very soon. So Darcy's highest score could be uh, just under 10,000. Um, okay, take it back. It's not easier. Oh, no! I went back! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it again. <laughs> okay. You get to uh, you get to read now. Now I get to start. Where did we start? With Cat? The page? Sorry, Cat. He's not right. Uh, Yes. Oof. Ah! Okay. This feeling stayed with me for the rest of my life and defined my career. How I experienced ah. the game, restored by Kelly, so responsible for the modifications of the current version, and met Tadu, oh who, who could hardly believe it when he found out that someone still remembered it, is a long story told elsewhere. So it, suffice to say that today I keep with... Deep respect the original notebook containing the game's handwritten source code and pencil. 
to remind me of where we started. Throughout this search, I met countless people who became my best friends, far beyond the enthusiasts of a common era or technology. Ooh, okay, I'm going on to this. Got it! Ooh. Oh my god, I hope there's no enemies eventually on this kind of screen. There will be. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Ooh. Those look enticing. Hot. Oh, they're brutal jumps, are they? No, oh, not too bad. Oh, God. Not too bad. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fine. How are you doing? Oh, my God. Ah! On the floor and it's your time to... It's your time to shine! It's your time to shine! Oh, my God. This looks so simple, but... No, oh, it's not. What is falling on the screen? Oh, when people put icons on the screen, oh. they fall. So they put those. Watch that cat. Yeah, I'm going to. I'd love one. a 25% speed version. This does not care about difficulty switches, do they? I don't think so. Oh, do I collect that? No, where do I go? What? You what? have to jump it. And then jump it again. And then jump it again. Did you fall? Oh, something Oh, happened. what? Maybe, was that a bug? Oh, what? Because well, it had a platform to go down, mm -hmm. but you don't want to go down. Okay, so it's it's probably my fault for going down. That you got was... what you deserved. Exactly. You want like... to go down here, though. Yes. Yeah. Whoa, whoa! Pong! Oh, okay. Okay, not so bad. Oof. Oh! I turn it... There's some games, like this one, where you turn around and your icon your character switches and your back of your head or your leg or your arm hits the thing that you're almost up against yeah so you have to watch it watch out for that oh my God. okay stand still turn it's like a pixel or two more to the right oh if i keep turning no it stays in place but like when, the thing that's making it difficult to see is that when you turn, you also move. Uh, yeah. Oh my God, boss time. Do I get them? Do I do I avoid them? No, I get them. Okay. <laughs> it's Santa Boss. Santa Boss. Thank you, Santa Boss. Oh look, I've got a, an extra life. I'm getting lives. I two lives. They would disappear though. Um, Those I um. No flicker. Nice. Yeah, no flicker at all. It's a joke. It's a joke. Okay. It's interesting. It's the opposite of bombs that uh, they're difficult to get hit by. It's like a treasure room. <laughs> ah! Yeah, it was a treasure room, but like yeah. it was difficult to get hit by those bombs. It was. As opposed it was. to like... Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I can't, can't hit my head. Okay, good. Uh, I don't think I want to go up there. You want to activate ah! it? <laughs> you want to activate it and then get off. Okay, there we go. Or go past it? No, once you touch it, you're magnetically like okay. smacked in the middle of it so you can't even touch it that i do want to go up but at the right time Woo! i got the right time oh boy i saw this in the trailer you have to keep going ah 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 <laughs> okay unlike pitfall in pitfall you can hit you can stand on their heads and you're fine in this game you cannot touch them when their mouths are open <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just showing i'm just, just showing, showing you how it is how it is ah oh, you have to go really fast uh, let or, me just see their no their mouths are open thank you for following inland empire a second, a second. Ooh, okay. yeah, yeah there's just enough look at that alligator oh, i do have to go down Please. oh my god that's a toothy, toothy dude. Oh, oh was... I feel like you ah! just barely made it. Oh my god. Go back. No. Nope. Uh, VHZ does that sometimes. Um, where you have to be... Where you go onto a screen, mm -hmm. and by the time you get to the hidden danger, it lights up, and you get caught off guard. Like, I almost walked right into that because it had a, enough delay. Ooh. Oh, this is very Indiana Jones. What is happening here? You go up there, oh. the ball's going to get you, and you have to be on that rope already. As it goes to the right. 
Now, does it push me into it? Jump. No, it doesn't. There you go. Oh. You only get one chance to. No, you could land. Oh, on I the... see. Because if it goes the other way, you hit it. That's you what hit it. it. Okay. I'm guessing you could land on that platform again, and maybe the bottom, but then you won't be able to get back up. Oh my God! What? Oh, that's very fast. You gotta jump when it's. You gotta jump, 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 jump. Ah! <laughs> Oh, Oof. yes. It does time up with your landing, like your arc, if you do a full jump. Jump, jump, Carl. Ah! That's why you can go back. Because of that kind of thing. Oh, but if right. you go back, do not die. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because then, then you start at the beginning. Back. Yeah, yeah. That's what I did. Oh, hello, fellow traveler. Uh, I'm not a zombie. Uh, come I'm, here. I don't know why you say that. Ah! I just want to... I'm for sure not a zombie. Eat. I mean, meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. You can't turn around on the edge. Oh, my God. As I do it. You again. can turn around on the edge. You can. <laughs> it allows you to turn around on the edge. Uh, and for people who don't know, you can manipulate yourself in midair. So... Yeah. It's not super old school hard. Just hard, hard. Walk. Oh, ooh, okay. Oh, so the flicker is because there's two of them. Uh, I don't know why he flickered that because he could do it. He could do a duplicate. Okay. So if anything, it's on purpose to make it look flickery. Oh, what? What just happened? Nobody knows. Oof. Yeah, there's no reason for flicker. See, there's two there. Yeah. Uh, unless the spacing was really important and the duplicate spacing oh. isn't quite that wide. ZPH makes me want to jump, jump. Okay, so I have to get on there and go down. Okay, that's oh. fine. Oh, you got to... Okay, oh, you ah. did it right the first time. You got hit ah. by the ball. Ah. Are you doing it wrong? Ah, oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay, there we go. Nice. Love it. Watch out for the whirly blades. Oh, Watch those? Out for the whirly blades. Oh, oh my god. The lawnmowers are getting me. I'm level 53. Wow. A lot of levels. Just past the halfway mark. Watch out for the jumping U's. Up, up. Your up. little taller oh, brothers. Boy. A little bit thinner than me. They want to eat. Eat my flesh. No, nope, none for you. Oh my god. Oh. Jesus. Okay. I'm gonna follow it. Keep right? going. Go boink, go boink. Uh -oh. oh. Is he coming back? No, he loops. Oh, big stars. Oh boy. Oh boy. How wide? How wide? Okay. Fast going in. Okay, so I'm gonna follow it. Uh, okay, help. yeah, I can help. follow it. Help. help. Something's wrong with the ZPH stream. What? What's wrong? Ah, I'll go back. Game, Game sound, sound out of sync. sync. Oh, what? why? Why? I was trying to. A metal lunar says it seems fine. To to them oh okay oh the sound yes it's a bit off okay oh <laughs> so it is off okay uh that should hopefully fix it i i was looking the other day at out of sync issues and i can't find any solution of why it goes out of sync eventually I blame. Does someone need to tell you not to get hit by the bowling ball? Yes. Can you tell me? <laughs> Don't get hit by the bowling ball. Oh, that's... Oh, see, treasures! Treasures! Or, or not. Yep. Bombs! Treasures! 
the, Mana do from they heaven. do they avoid you or does it just seem like it because they're very erratic at the bottom? They probably don't avoid me because they do land and you can pick them up pretty easily. Oh, and the next one doesn't come till you hit it because I saw another one almost coming down. Oh, I've seen this one. Oh, I see. So you get more points if you do catch them. Uh, yes, I've lost some of my lives. <laughs> well, you win lives because your lives are oh, points, is, uh, right? Yes. Thrust says that the uh, and uh, Carl G say that timing. It's all is good. good. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. That one's a lot harder. Oh God! Ah! Watch out! No! Oh. But do you get the points again for completing it again? Yep. Do it again. To get more <laughs> yeah. lives. Do it again. Oh, my God. <laughs> so it's more like... Oh, my God. It's more like you lose 10,000 points every time you die. Mm -hmm. You start off with... You get a thousand points every time you complete a screen, and you lose ten thousand when you die. That's what somebody said. That makes more sense. And you start off with a lot of points. Yeah. Oh, what? Okay, I have to jump over that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh. Oh boy. That looks right in line with the spider. There's no landing spot. What? You need to go when it's down. Uh, but you need to go when it's coming down so that, like, you're jumping. Like, you need, mm. like, just keep bit. practicing, spending your points to find out when the timing is. Yes. It's right there. Ah, okay. There yep. Go. Okay, there was enough time to do that. Oh boy. Wow. The sky's moving now. Ah! Uh oh. You have to have enough Except room on the, the other sky. side. Is it that bit of the sky that's like burning right in front of your dumb Retinas. face? Uh... You're trying to give yourself too much space. You gotta start. You gotta jump closer to it. Yes. I know. I'm uh, trying I'm to be helpful. Close. <laughs> You gotta go straight up and then over. Got it. Oh my god, oh, they go back. Uh, frozen intermittently. <laughs> so they're having a. They got one frame and froze again? Yeah, they're having several people's having frozen. And I see a black. Oh no! Or a red square. Red yep. circle. Yep. So do I. Can you type? Dealing, dealing with it. It's treat time. Yum, 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 Somebody yum. Somebody put treat time now. No, not treat time now. Someone said internet outage in DC. Really? That's what they said. I don't know if they're joking. They are. Games. I mean, it's possible, but Jason. <laughs> Unlikely, but possible. Let's see if we can reconnect. Still recording locally. And we are. Um, let's just stop the stream and start it again. We are back in business. Uh, shots are there are no outages right now. Good. Okay, we're back in business. You should be connected again. If not, reconnect, but you can't hear me, so... But that's... also, there was a treat time activated. Yes. Um, but that's I see very red. hard to do while playing. Is that red? No, nope. no, that's, that's record. means record. Okay, so I was looking at There's the no wrong thing. I looked over, I saw a problem, <laughs> and it was just coincidence because I was looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> so what are you waiting for to do tree time? Well, if we do tree time, I have to stop playing. Can but I can like stop on a screen where I won't die over. Yeah, that's, that's true. 
true. What was the last thing? Uh, dying over and over. Oh. Oh my god. Well, it's alright. You're... You're... Uh-oh. Thank you. Is this one's named Cat? <laughs> I, I call them cat when they're bad. Atari. When they're bad, I, I just... this one's belly. I'm touching the belly. Uh, this one is... Just wait. Wait, wait, wait. Tree time's coming. It is um, coming. Shortly. This cat seems aware that there should be some sort of treat happening. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, this one's hard. Ah, ah. Hey, what are you doing? Don't bite me. That's so mean. I'm not a cable. Do I look like a cable to you? Oh my god, can I jump over these guys? Oh, that's much easier. <laughs> oh, there's no safe points anymore. It will eventually be. Like right here. Okay, we're going to pause here for some cat treats. It's time to ring the bells, cats. Let's get. Oh, okay, I got. I got to turn him. I got to hide him. Otherwise, this one's going to start smacking him. I can tell. He's very smart. <laughs> He's very smart. Very smart. He's action cat. Let's start he up. He didn't the wait bedding. for nobody. He didn't wait. Waiting is for big cats and humans. So, so for if me, you have never seen this before. We have two cats here. They will ring bells. The first one to ten wins, but you can bet on them. So there's a little button on there. It says predict. I see no clue as to which bell color. Um... I'll put down the bells. It's all good. Oh, I see. Atari is pink. So you can click on predict at the top. Where's uh, Atari going to on... go? Do you know? Sorry? Where's Atari going to go? Where is he going to go? Well, I want to put the bells down. Not yet. Don't put the bells down yet. <laughs> we have to bet first. Okay. Yep. Hold but up. where? Hold. Hold. Where, where are they going to go? They go right here. And it doesn't matter which color goes where? Well, I like to line them up. Uh, the blue goes... Blue goes on this side. Pink goes on that side. Okay. So if you click predict, you pick a cat. And Where's you pick my... by how many points? Vote for me! How many... Vote for me! <laughs> I would like to be voted for! How many points do you think they'll win by? Sid is a favorite. So it's a very good chance. That Sid will win. Are you going to champion today, buddy? He's been winning by three or four points. Vote and that's. For me. That's, quickly, quickly, before I go crazy. <laughs> that's why the divide is on three four line. So he's been uh, he's been winning quite quite well. And I gotta shut the door for this cat because he runs in the hallway. Come on. Come on. He's very silly. Now we have to wait till he comes in, then I can shut the door. Tari! Nope, no computing. Tari! Hi! Bring Come on in here! Or shake the treats. Shake the treats. Come on. There we go. And you have about uh, 17 seconds to place your last bets. You can go from as little as 10 channel points. Oh. They cost you nothing. You earn them by just sitting in the channel. And, oh, we got two seconds left. And the board is, the spread is covered. Everybody is covered, all cats. Are you ready, all cats? Sid favors pink, though. He does. They both seem to ring one bell. Okay, cats are hungry. Who, who, uh, Gamma Dev did this one. He's been winning, so it's good he's giving back and, and triggering the treat time. That's the point, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so you have to watch the bells because it's are fast you gonna and furious. Are you going to hand out the treats? Um, nope. I watch the bells and hand out the treats. Okay. Yes. So you just throw them down as you see them. Now I can put down the bells if you want. Uh, okay, yeah. here, you put the dip bells down then. Okay. But just a sec. Let me get the box open. You've yep. got me paranoid it's... here. <laughs> get some treats ready. I'm ready. It's I'm been ready. a while since Stars has done this. Are you ready? Yeah. And go! Oh, that was Atari. And that was Sid. He's gone then crazy. Even if he's using the wrong bell? Uh, it's okay. No, we got to put him in, in frame. There we go. That's why you got to watch because it's, it's difficult. Hey, no Order. blocking. No, 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 no. No Use blocking. <laughs> Darcy's is interfering. Two, two. No, it's I'm, tied up. Sid has got three. Whoop. Oh, and the internet's crap again. Sid's got four. We're going to have to solve it afterwards. Tari's got another. It's four, three for Sid. It's five, three for Sid. Whoop. 
It's five four for Sid. Six four for Sid. It's seven four for Sid. It's seven five for Sid. Eight five for Sid. And eight six for Sid. And his game point for Sid. One more. Not from you, but get that get that point. It could be the deciding factor. It's 10-7. So he beat him by three points. I know the internet's out, and I'm going to reconnect and try and <laughs> get this going again. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> So what are you doing? You're you're unplugging the internet? You're jiggling the cable? I am jiggling the cable. It actually works sometimes, so it's so hmm. dumb. Yeah, we'll start up the stream again. Do, 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 do. Since we're back, we will give out the rewards. <laughs> It's trying to stop the stream. There's no internet, so it can't stop. We'll go full screen that for that one. Oh, it's the winner by three. Oh, lick, lick, lick. Come on, stop the stream. <laughs> <laughs> one to ten for Atari. <laughs> Sid one, ten to seven. Working on getting it back up. It's the internet me. is so, oh it says uh, it's oh, um, the rest start start now. Let's see if that worked. So we are oh. not back. Oh, cannot find the channel. Uh oh. I'm gonna wash my hands. Could not access a specified channel or stream key. Please double check your stream key. Oh no, are we doing bad things in this? Let me just try a different. It's gambling, you're not allowed to gamble. That's right, with cats. Young kittens around the world are getting bad examples. They're being taught that all you have to do is ring a bell and you make it way an easy street in life, but that's not how it is. Kittens gotta work hard. Yeah, what does the four in front of? Uh... Failed to connect to server. Oh my god, I think it's Twitch. Oh, no, zero. Zero kilobits, but we're connected. Again, let's try a, a different. I oh, can't change it while it's trying. Did they change the stream locks on you? No. Have you tried anything else? I guess you're using the internet now to chat, so that's working. And the you Twitch don't have chat zero. is working. Oh, I just saw some bits, not very many, oh, very small. Yeah. And then it went to zero. 70. How many should it be? Because that's at 74. 4,000. Okay, that's substantially fewer. Pathetic, in fact. Let's try this one. It's uh, giving you a checkbox. Yeah. Stream key again. DOS. What's DOS? Oh. <laughs> Denial of service. Yeah. But that's not, I really, I doubt it, but. I thought you meant you're going to use a disk operating system. <laughs> well, I, that's a joke I'm making. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, connected, and then it went 76, then it went to zero. 
It's just tons of dropped frames. Is it me? Go to do can uh, to taskmaster and yeah, task yeah. Uh, manager. No, no, just speed test. Then I'll know. Yeah, your computer's not lagging. Computer's fine. Well, no. Did you pay your bill? Oh, the bill! Damn it. Um, speed test is not good. What is that? Sixty watts. And now it's gone out. Speed test is. Oh no, it's fine. Okay. Speed test is. Uh, ooh, that's the problem. What? Upstream speeds are in the toilet. Okay, and how do we uh, change that? Uh, Can we use our phones? Rebooting router. No. <laughs> no. Uh, not easily. But I mean, I could just make a hotspot on my phone and you can connect to it. If I had wireless on that computer. You don't? Yeah, I don't think so. But surely you have a wireless dongle lying around. If we were at my house, I could find four. Um... <laughs> I'm <laughs> not even kidding. <laughs> Four wireless dongles, wow. Yeah. Reboot the router too while I'm at it. Well, hello YouTube. You're watching us recover in real time. It's fun. It's great. It's totes fun. Well, they can't see me type this, but you and YouTube Land are still with us. Yes. Uh, we'll start playing again as soon as we're up and running. I'm rebooting the router, and I'm rebooting my modem. I am going to help by sitting here and doing nothing. It's possible that rebooting the modem will but latch on to a different um, upstream uh, frequency, which may not be having problems. Um, it is quite possible that uh, my ISP is having problems and which rebooting this stuff will not help. My upload speeds are 0.16 megabits per second, which is trash. Absolute trash. So <laughs> T-Mobile and Steam are reporting outages. Yeah, that's no, not relevant. So now I'm just going to wait till I can start pinging again. And then we will know that we're back online. Could be the Russians. Uh, could be. Mm -hmm. Specifically targeting us. It, uh, does it say rebooted because you clicked it, but it can't upload it because you're not connected? Uh, or did you not want to have press enter on that? Oh, oh I, you're just prepared to say it when it's yeah, true? Okay. Because I, we literally have no connection right now. I was so. just uh, wondering if it... Yeah. I was being helpful by sitting here and doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but he, yeah, if, if, I don't know. If, I don't think this has wireless. I mean, it doesn't because it's not showing up here. Yeah. It's just Ethernet. I mean, I didn't specifically ask for a motherboard or buy a motherboard that uh, has a wireless. Yeah, no, I, I, on it, I, so, I thought, I'm oh, being dumb. It. I'm being dumb by assuming that you're, I'm sure my PC doesn't have wireless. Actually, well, I'm not positive. A lot I, of them do. But it just, wouldn't be on board. It, it would just be like a, like a USB dongle. Oh, okay. Because I have, like I said, I've got a bunch of them. Mm. Because like For... Raspberry Pis. Oh. And also in the old days. Raspberry Pis have Wi-Fi built in. I used to have like a, a, I used to have dongles that I would bring with me if I needed to like, sh like, um. Anyways, it's a long time ago. <laughs> but if you wanted to like share your internet, oh okay, th and you had a second Wi-Fi dongle on your laptop, oh. then you could have them connect to that. Oh, connecting to chat. Right. Trying to connect to chat. Let's see if upstream is better. Really, really hope so. 
I might as well stop the stream. Oh, the streaming is happening. Let's not stop the streaming. Oh, we're back. Hooray! I am doing a speed test right now, uh, <laughs> which may... Oh, it's back to full speed on the downloads. And the upload should be good because we are back. Yes. I'll, Hooray. I'll cut that out right now so I don't use it up. Yay, we're back. So I just needed to reboot my uh, modem and or router. Um, thank you, Geeks versus Geeks. Uh, okay, now we can get back to the very important question <sighs> who that Trust asked before, which is what does the number in front of his name mean? Uh, whose name? Oh, that's the one you bet on. Okay. What if so, you bet on more than one? Uh, you cannot do that. Oh, you can only bet on one now? Yes. You, you, oh. you only could ever bet on one. This is not polls. Polls, you could bet. You could choose more than one on the polls. I thought it was that you could bet. I thought before you could hedge your bet on. No, never. never. You're never allowed to hedge bets? No, not on this betting. So, uh, hmm. Sid, this little guy, got 10 treats in his belly. And Atari got seven treats in his belly, so Sid won by three, which we've readjusted for this because he's very good. So he split it at the three and not the four. So let's see who won. Oh, a lot of people won a bet on the one to three. <laughs> uh, Al Nefer is the big winner, along with three other people. Congratulations, Al. Uh, what the heck happened? I think it was... My it was the Russians. It was the Russians. Uh, my modem uh, got locked onto a bad upstream frequency. I rebooted the modem. It hopped to a different frequency, which is not populated and or broken in half. And now it works. And it's sitting at a constant streaming of around 4,000 kilobits per second. Da, da, da. Oh, Dan won and Al won. And Pseudographics won. There we go. Oh, I guess we can see who bet on two. If we scroll back and they chat. Uh, yeah. Elnifer, Danny VC, and nobody else. Chat. Prow seven. Others. There we it go. Said three others, so yeah. there are four people total. Replay. Uh I guess we could do a replay. <laughs> 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 Wanna see the replay? <laughs> sure. Let's do the replay. Cause we can. Just cause we can. I'm very interested that you're able to replay now because I've been talking about replaying for years and it wasn't. Uh, this, for some reason, the MKVs don't uh, fast forward very nicely, so we can't really do replay it. I'm not sure why. Probably well, doesn't have it doesn't have indexes. It doesn't have, have like keyframes. Keyframes has yeah. zero keyframes. But it did. It does have keyframes because it eventually caught up. Like it, oh, like it, it was a, it did oh, suddenly it did suddenly catch up. It's just that you are allowed to you are allowed to fast see. forward to a part that doesn't have it, and then it'll snap. Yeah, in. there's a keyframe. Yeah. I think every two seconds I've put a keyframe in. Well, thank you for resubscribing, Ground Trooper. Okay, we are now going to continue on with the gaming. Oh my goodness, what a crazy, crazy, crazy time! Sixty-five months. Woo! Thank you, Ground Trooper. Pro tip: Bet on Sid. The kid has chops. Yes, well, he is good. <laughs> That's why I had to alter his his split uh, because he is too good. We're on level seventy three. Hi. Oh, that's a tight. Right space there. Ah! Ah! Ah, no! 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 Yeah, one thing that needs to be said for Atari is that he uh, he was only a little bit behind. Yeah, he was He, was he wasn't being good. crushed. He was doing good. I'm proud of the old man, even though he's <laughs> not actually an old man. He's... I don't know if he's considered senior yet. No. No? He's seven? Almost eight? That's seven. That's a third of 20. Ah! Oh my god, you die instantly if you don't move. Oh my god, it's forcing you. Uh, I think I want to jump. No, I don't want to jump over that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do these turn around? No. Is that bigger than the first oh ones god. that you have to jump? Oh yeah, it's huge. Yeah. 
Gotta get on that big one fast. Too close. Too close again. It's hard. But also there's, Captain like, you can jump up and then control yourself. You can. So, like, sometimes the problem oh. is that you're jumping on an angle and there's no room in the angle. True. Um, but I don't know that the other thing works. Like, oh, it didn't so seem to there. Wide. What? I'm not hitting the peak properly. There oh, you go. Oh, no. Oh, you banged your knee. I did. Brutal. Oh, your poor knee. Yeah, these are slippery. <laughs> My poor that knee. time you just rolled under the front of the wheel. Uh, ah! Uh, uh, no! What happened? Uh, what? I jumped what? way too early and I had nowhere to land. But you just need to cross the threshold. I know, and I was being stupid at the same time. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, run. Oh, is that it? Oh, just a bowling ball. <laughs> it's like a reprieve. Oh my god, what? Oh my god. It's like the barrels in Donkey Kong. What? And he changes too. Ah, run for it. No. What does he change? He oh, changes. where? Ugh. Yeah, he changes where he lands? Yeah. Yeah. By slightly. Ah! Okay, what's going on here? This just is just a, a hard jump. Big old jump. And a zombie. You have to jump him. Is he going to move? No. The one thing is, so far, things that are still haven't moved after they... <laughs> no, they haven't. Oh, can you press the keypad? I don't know what's going on with that. It's Cat Chew. General Cat Chew. No, no, That's his name. No, no, no. It's his rank as General. No, no, no. General Cat Chew. Oh, my God. I got... I got... Geez. I got one in each hand. You're so lucky. Yeah. Multiple cats. My goodness. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Death. Oh my goodness. Immediately. Here it comes. What? What? Ah! What? Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. They're vicious. Yeah. Oh, god. the time is crazy on this. This can't go too far because they. They jump back a bit. No, they don't jump back. Ah. They just stop dead. Ah, present time. Oh, excuse me. Time for presents. Get the rings. Get the bags of money. Get the tires. Get the beer. Get the gold bars. Destroy the enemy. Oh, I bet those trees. are. I bet those trees will murder you. I. Oh wow, that's a big jump. Or they don't kill you, but you can't combine them. Oh, yeah. They, what? They get covered in your blood if you land on them. They're spiky. Mm -hmm. What? What? Do I have to... I think I'm not supposed to go up. I think I'm supposed to jump over the trees. Yeah, I think maybe that's where... Ah. The situation... Oh, why, why the... Five mirror? Uh, I don't know why that. There we go. Fish out of water, fish out of water. Piranha, specifically piranha. Oh my god. Ah, uh, should I go under? I think I should go under. Ah, uh, no, I think I should go under both of them, all at the same time. Ah, uh, yep. should have gone further. There we go. There you Run! go. Oh, I made it. I have very few points. Okay. Is there a, is there a pattern where I can go on? No. No, there isn't. It's I have to lie. avoid. You have to avoid on the it. rope. Yeah. Ah, but you can get off of it again. Yeah. Slippery. Oh, you have to do it right away. You gotta look out for it. You gotta. Yeah. Oh my God. Ah. Uh oh. Go right away. Hurry, hurry. Oh, you have to go right away. Oh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, I didn't go right away. So, so brutal. Oh, God. I pressed it. I did jump. Ah, it didn't go right away. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, 
Ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, ah, Killed myself. This game. This game. It's so challenging. Go! <laughs> uh oh. Oh, this is like a, a gimme level. Yeah. It's nice to have levels that are not so bad once in a while. Oh, uh -oh. boy. Zombie run! Uh oh. Uh oh, your precious points. Well, they're not going down because I've lost all my 10,000 points. You don't have any points, have any points to lose. <laughs> oh, this, progress is slow. Progress is slow. <laughs> progress? <laughs> Regression is high. <laughs> Regression is very high. <laughs> you really are just at a, like, your standing wave situation. <laughs> Yeah, it pushes you back so far. Go! Oh, another one! Onslaught! Oh, so similar that you're like, oh no, didn't I make it? <laughs> <laughs> so it's harder I to know, bounce they up. Got, they got cattails on those scorpions. Far back. Ah, uh, itchy. <laughs> <laughs> Hard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gordon Ranger says, I think this is the most number of times I've ever seen James die in, a, in any game. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, Thrust yes. would like to remind you, do not go back. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I'll probably die instantly. Yeah. Thank you, Thrust. That's a very good advice. Because <laughs> I'll have to do this again. And then again. Yeah. God. Very, very... Uh... It's better to die than go back to the last screen. Yeah. Better death than regression. I don't... No, no, no. I don't think you're going to be able to do it. I think you're, you're going to have to, like, just yeah. die. Sit there and die and rest your jump hand. <laughs> no. 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 Think of the pixels. Think of the pixel deaths. Unnecessary pixel deaths. Oh, that was the last one I needed to jump. Yeah. I've stopped believing in you. <laughs> you have. I'm on level 96, by the way. No, no, no. You misunderstand. I've missed. <laughs> I've stopped believing that when it looks like you've got it, that it, you're, it's oh, going to succeed. I see. I, 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 it hurts me too much. <laughs> like right there. I know. Like right there, I allowed myself <laughs> to hope. <laughs> there was a glimmer. <laughs> and the glimmer faded. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hardest level. It's good it's on level 96 because it deserves to be here. Your character is essentially wider than he is, if you're turning around. Oh, it pushed me so far back! I know. <laughs> no! <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> this is easy compared to the last oh, one. No, oh. It's still like mean. It's so mean. Oh no, please don't give the zombies again. <laughs> 98. Are there 100 levels or are there more than? No, there's 100. That break in the ground actually really makes a difference. I know. Because you have to, like, deal with it. Oh. You might have to do the next game. <laughs> oh my god. Outside yelling person. They empathize with me. That was not a crow. Oh, no. Don't think so. God. Oh my god! This looks so easy. It is not. There's a lot of movement and timing. No, it doesn't look easy. It looks uh, hard. Into the drink. At least it was a novel way to die. It was. It was a little bit. You drowned that time instead of being bowled over. This is the second to last level. <laughs> it's deservedly at the right uh, yep. level. Yeah. And that's not always the case. Oh, I did it! Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, bit. Para Benz. Para Benz! E. No. Oh, oh my god. Oh! Oh, it rained down here. That's to very it. nice. That's very Extra kind. Extra points! That is very kind. <laughs> to give me 45,000 exactly. <laughs> Fim de Or 450, depending End on how you read game. it. If the last two digits are the score, or are, are the level, then it stands to reason that. You oh, cost yes. you a hundred. You get a hundred per level, and you lose a thousand per level, <laughs> instead of a thousand and ten thousand. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Oh my God, Fernando! Excellent game. I mean, platformers are my jam. I love them. Um, the challenges in this, every single level, every single level is different. It provides a different challenge, which mm -hmm. is amazing actually in a 2600 game and a hundred levels that's that's exceptional um excellent release i loved all the different characters in it uh i love the the movement is really good in the game like you you do not feel like it is unfair to you like your movement if you make a mistake it's on you like too bad the turning around that's a little tricky because you have to make sure there's enough room for you to turn around because you actually like turn your whole body when you turn around so your back can get hurt. But once you yeah, get, yeah. you understand the mechanics because every game has different mechanics. And you have, once you understand it, you're like, okay, I have to leave a bit of room for the ledge or the enemy. Yeah, really good. So that is uh, available for pre-order right now. Uh, from Bitnamic. But October 9th is when it comes out? Yes, October 9th starts shipping out. Or if you're at the Brazil Game Show in Brazil, you can pick it up right there from the developers themselves. Um, thank you for letting us... Game 1 is random stages. Oh, yeah. Let's just quickly check out the randoms. Okay, so it just picks one of the randoms from... Does it mix and match, like... Or does it just pick one one of the random levels from the game? Which is what I'm guessing. <laughs> I don't know, I'm... Sorry, I was it's taking okay. selfies. In the end, you receive a different trophy according to your score. Well, I ah. probably had one of the lowest scores possible. Had you technically finished the game. <laughs> I finished the game. <laughs> I did that in another game, too. What was it? I had zero. 
oh, it was Mr. Run and Jump. Like, I went down 2-0. Um, but uh, that's a hard game. Okay, excellent game. <laughs> the lowest. I got the lowest score possible. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that is something. <laughs> that is definitely something. Oh, yeah, you can't see that. But anyway. Um, so we're going to go on to the next game. Which is Lava Trip by Good Deal Games. Um, a cart will be available soon from Good Deal Games. Um, it doesn't say exactly when, but let's just um, take a look at some things here. Do, 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 do. Okay. I have a page up about it. This was posted in their Facebook. There we go. New Atari VCS 2600 game release, Lava Trip. A Good Deal Games is a publisher. That is correct. So that's being by, released by Good Deal Games. I do not have information on the actual developer themselves. Good Deal Games is releasing a new game at the 2024 Cleveland Gaming Classic next weekend. So this is coming out very soon. Uh, which is limited to only 25 copies. However, we're releasing five copies to our online customers that may not be able to make the show. These are first come, first serve. Lava Trip is a top-down perspective platformer that has you traversing dangerous caverns. Top-down platformer. Hmm. Cool. Uh, uh, overflowing with mountain lava. It's more... I would say it's more three-quarters, but it's, it, it is top-down okay. in a sense. Jump from platform to platform to make your way to safety. Time your jumps to avoid the fireballs and lava wa waves while attempting to outsmart serpents, skulls, and demons. Random board layouts each time you play for an always fresh adventure. Includes two skill modes, both single and multiplayer. So we have two joysticks ready for the multiplayer. So you can email uh, Michael Thomason. Uh, at service at Good Deal Games or fill out the order form on GoodDealGames.com website. And you can get one of the five copies that are available. Warning! Through, Warning! Um, order the notes. treat ball is loose. And treat ball! The treat ball the cover is loose. For the game. Treat ball is loose, kittens! I'll get the box. I'll get the box. Oh, good. Oh my god, it's a box! Oh my god! It's the arena! Let's not worry too much about whether or not it's on top of me! It's the combat arena. Okay, here you take these. Okay. You're gonna get the covers for them. Let's get those caps on screen. Oh, the covers up? Yeah. They're There's just one. There. And I would say five in each. Five? Or maybe a tid tidbit more. Sid doesn't react to that sound. Atari, he reacts, reacts to Atari reacting. Yeah, he hasn't quite got the connection between the sound, that sound, and treats yet. But uh, he'll get there. Okay, so I've made this fairly hard, but not too hard. It's the thing about the kittens is that they're, they're very... Um... So you can adjust the difficulty mm -hmm. on it. Okay, now there's one for you, Atari. Want to do it here? There you go. Oh, that's a bit off screen. He's like, well, at least I get snacks. Let's do it over here. Actually, we can put you over here. And Atari can go here. Atari, sorry, I'm confusing you. No, he's good. He doesn't want to be picked up. Come on. Sorry. Come on. Okay, they both go in there. How about that? <laughs> Silly cats. <laughs> Thank you, Pseudo Graphics, for feeding the kitties. Um, let's see. So on the Good Deal Games website, they have a whole bunch of systems. And under 2600, we can look at the uh, Lava Trip. There you go. It says pretty much the same thing. $29.75. That is your price. And we are going to now get to the game. And this is an exclusive world premiere. Time Two in get... one day. Two in one day. Time to get... 
Get the joystick. Laugh trip. You will be playing it while I will be reading it out. Good deal games. Love a trip. Um, so, yeah, huge thank you to Michael Thomason. Can I press the button? Uh, yes, you have to hold it down for one second. There you go. So, uh, jump with the button, move with the joystick, avoid all the baddies, and use the square as your landing spot. Oh, into the lava. Yeah, the la the lava, it burns! So how to play the game. About the game. Lava Trip is a platformer game with a top-down perspective. Player can freely move in two dimensions and jump in a simulated third dimension. The object of the game is to reach the right side of the screen to complete each level. You must stand on stone platforms to stay alive. If you fall off into the lava, you will die. Jump across gaps to reach other platforms. And you have one life. And the score is how many screens you make it. I think you can make it across there if you go to the edge. Oh, you can jump over? Oh, interesting. This guy's trying to murder me. He successfully did. He gotcha. Hold it down. There you go. Um, there are orange obstacles and enemies that move across the screen and will kill you if you touch them. But you can cross over them mid-air while jumping. Oh, you can jump over any of those. Your player, player character has a shadow beneath them that indicates where they're standing and where yeah, it's very good. they land after jumping. I mean, don't jumping. let the fact that I keep dying <laughs> uh, trick make oh, you... Oh, Cartridge Image, thank you. I was thrown off by cats. Lava trip. Thank you very much, ITC. And down. Uh, pay attention no. to the shadow to time and aim your jumps. Uh, use the left difficulty to swat, switch between hard mode. So this is easy mode. Use the right difficulty oh. to switch toggle to versus mode. Ooh, versus. Are we both on the screen at the same time? Hmm, we'll find out. Game controls. Yes, we know that. Game screens. There are three screens with their own unique obstacles and enemies. Fireballs and serpents. Skulls and lava waves, which is the one you were just on. And then the demon. So, fireballs and serpents. On this screen, fireballs and serpents will attack the player by moving across the screen vertically. Skulls and lava waves. On this screen, there are evil skulls and waves and lava moving across the screen horizontally. Screen three, the demon, which we have seen. On this screen, there's a demon that will chase the player while the player is standing on the ground. Oh, wow. Uh, game modes. In harder mode, the orange obstacles will move faster. Okay. In single-player mode, the player must complete as many levels as they can without dying to increase their score. In two-player versus mode, player one and two compete to see if complete the most levels without dying. Oh, okay. Is it simultaneous, though? It doesn't say. In versus mode, the first player to die loses. So, uh, a little bit about Michael Thomason who is a distributor for Good Deal Games. He distributes a ah. ton of different games, including for the 2650, 200, 7800, Jaguar, Lynx, and a bunch of other consoles. You saw on that page I quickly showed there was a lot of consoles. He actually held the Guinness World Record for the largest video game collection in 2012 with 10,607 games. Uh, ten years later, uh, 2022, it has been doubled by Antonio Romero Montiero of Texas with 24,000 games. Of course, there's more games out now in those ten years. Here's a short excerpt from his biography. He started programming games uh, when he began to read at the young age of five on the Commodore PET, later branching into the TRS-80, VIC-20, TI-99, and eventually Atari line of computers. Michael was previously a full-time 3D animator, so video games were as much a form of research as they are entertainment. Dissecting the new 3D games through their technology and examining the classic games, he thinks such things as how do they do that with only 2K of memory. <laughs> Con Conquer Ranger says, I like watching Darcy play because he's roughly my skill level as a gamer so I can judge how I would do in the game. <laughs> there we go. Don't be so hard on yourself. He can't be that bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was very slidey. 
Oh, you did change it. Never mind. Oh, my goodness. I did. So there's no time limit, so you can take your time. Except then, like, the third level, where the demon's coming after you. These guys kind of stay at the same... Ah! Vertical height. So as long as you're out of their range, so what I would do is get this guy way down there, and then I would lead him away. They all done? It's not going to be good being at the top on this level. Yeah, uh, I I think what happened to me level four. is I started to get too confident and I just missed mm. platforms. I just slid too far past them. <laughs> yeah, that it is slippery. Yeah. Yeah, overconfidence in video games is deadly. Remember, you can jump over him too. Even directly. that guy? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. As far as I know, yeah. It's. It did say it you says can jump all over orange stuff. anything yeah. orange, which yeah. is all the enemies. This isn't too bad, because you just... And it, and you hit them with your platform, not your body. So hitting them with your body is fine. Mm -hmm. It's the platform that has the uh, sensitivity to it. And let's do this low. I think they're speeding up now. They're definitely, oh my god, definitely speeding up now. Remember, you can jump over them. Ah, I always forget that. Mm -hmm. it just seems so. Yeah, no, that's why I'm reminding you because I know because I forgot. Ah. So therefore, I. Uh... There we go. I jumped over one. Yeah. Are you proud of me? I am. Excellent. Oh, they're very fast now. I think that your strategy that you're using with that guy is probably better. Yeah. Because he's not even coming close to you. But, it's uh, gonna get to a point where he's really fast and may not I may have to try something different like he's gonna be fast now oh my god oh he stops when you jump he only chases <gasps> after you when oh, you're on the ground oh my god oh level, level 12. 12 okay now it's your turn turn to try again okay Ancient crime of hubris. Yeah, it's whenever you say, oh my God, I'm doing so good. Death, death is coming for you. That is the calling card for death in video games. Is when you say, oh, I'm doing I'm try awesome. Oh, it's the best score ever. Oh, it's so good. Right, kittens? Oh, you're warm and vicious. 12, J. thank you. I'm gonna give it one more go after Darcy finishes. And or gives up. Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, I want to see that tactic. Oh, that's tough. It would work better if I didn't suck so bad at the. I'm gonna try that. The specific jumping, but your might... strategy is for sure better. Because um, he doesn't even come close to you. Yeah, but eventually he's... you might have to do it. Is the thing. Maybe, but when he's fast, it's gonna be a bit of a difficulty. Yeah, I think my strategy is just a bit better because he's just it's so way, close. While you can do it, yeah. yours is way better because it doesn't even come close to you. It's like not even a question. But like oh, like you said, at a certain point, he might be so fast that you can't make it work, in which case you should be practiced at jumping over him. Yeah. But in an emergency. Because oh jumping over them is the game. Yes. Avoiding them is the... the, the Salvation of... Yeah. No, it's like avoiding them completely is the pretend game that you play at the beginning <laughs> before the game starts. True. <laughs> oh, I didn't listen to my own advice. Lead him down first. Makes it much easier. And as soon as you hit that gray, I think with your body, um, you're you're safe. Like on the right hand side of the screen. As soon as your platform hits, the uh, level is over. Oh yeah, it's much further away. Ah! Da -ha -ha! Okay, one more try. And then we'll go to hard mode, and then we'll try the two-player mode. 
See, it's not so bad when it's moving towards you and it will keep going. Yep. Yeah, those you, guys aren't scary. Because you know it'll never turn around and try and get you like this guy. I really like the graphics on this guy, actually. The uh, Looks demon. like Minotaur. Yeah. Uh, and Minotaurs, and standing. literally Minotaurs look like demons, so. Yeah. Uh, and you actually jump further than you think you yep. can. It's quite a good jump, actually. Yeah. Like it said in the instructions, every screen is randomized. So you never know what... Oh, this is tough. Look at... Oh, one pixel below. Eight. Okay, we're going to go to difficult mode. Let's see what that's like. Oh, yeah, this is actually faster than level 12 that I got up to. This might be like level 15. Maybe even higher, actually. Oh, my God. Okay, the pot... That's very smart to put that pausing in there. Otherwise, you would just be dead on the third demon level. Mm -hmm. Actually, we don't want these to pause. So, yeah, very clever piece of programming. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Damn it. Level six. Okay, return on hard. Then we'll go to two player. See how that is. Oh, it I'm is hard. Do it I forgot it was not hard. <laughs> I'm going to do it another time. I'm going to stop there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Diagonals are hard. Uh, that's why I, I went um, left, then up, and not the diagonal, because he's, he's very fast moving. So hold it down, and let's see what the two player is like. Okay, still one at a time. And I think maybe we may take turns on level zero. I didn't even need to play. Yes! I am the champion! I don't think that's right. I have to die, too. And then we tie. Right? Yeah, you should have to play one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to oh, switch? Here, here, here. <laughs> you Watch. can make it. This is on easy level. No, it is. It is. Yeah, yeah, You've yeah. done this. Not hard anymore. Oh, you caught the edge of it. A big jump <laughs> uh, it's weird because like i feel like i was doing much better before <laughs> you definitely were <laughs> and now i can't even finish like Do the first level like i don't know why concentrated measured movements i think you're just going too fast i think that is it yeah because there's no time limit oh it's me okay oh we alternate oh. that's why it says player two wins that makes sense. All right, it's you. Oh, and then next time. Whoa. Oh. And when it wraps around, we would do a different level because there's three levels and two mm -hmm. people. It's almost co op because we're kind of defeating the levels together, but it's also competition. No. <laughs> this is a great, this game is a great example of a game that could be made fairly simply because it's hardware collision. Um, he is putting more than one instance of... That's the first time I beat that guy. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, no, they're, um, they're missiles. I see. So, yeah, there's just player one, player zero, player one, missile zero, missile one. No, no balls, I All don't right. think. I mean, this is programmed in Atari Basic. I'm guessing... Just by the score kernel at the bottom. But it is a great example of um, a clever game, which 
I haven't really seen before. Crossing lava by hopping on platforms. Yeah. And it's a classic uh, yeah, at home in the living room game, too. It is. Yeah. You throw some pillows down. You can... Ah, uh, uh, come on. You can do it. I did beat him one time. You did. I've got to make it so where I can beat him. Oh, straight across. How easy is that? Minotaur. It just says demon, so it may not be a minotaur. I'm sure it's a demon. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that it actually looks. Could be minotaur. That's what I'm saying. Is a minotaur looks like a demon when you if you do a profile. Because I was thinking like antlers on the top of them. Oh, nope. into the lava! Right. Excellent. And I'm guessing. Let me just check. You can do two player. Difficult too. Ah, okay. Here we go. I, I would I would think so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you have four variations on the game. Pop. Oof. Oh boy. <laughs> Is that oh, I, tactic? I needed. To, I, I, yeah, yeah. I needed to jump further from. Yeah. Do one more. Yeah, that tactic, you have to lead him down and then... No. In fact, I think the opposite. I really? Think once you, you get wanna, to that... You want to jump over him? You, once you get to a certain point, you have to jump over him. Because you're not going to be oh. fast enough to lead him. That's what I That's what I think that is going to happen. That could be true, actually. I mean, uh, I was just very slow there. Let me try. You can do the alternate. Oh my god. You won! Yeah, don't don't hop along the top on this level. It's not a good idea. Oh, no! <laughs> that was dumb. Dumb, da dum 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 <laughs> No! I don't want to win. I want to face the demon. Oh, that was so dumb. Stop going along the top. Like I'm yelling at the character on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's slippery. It's it's not slippery. It's just very fast moving. So well, it's very it. open. Yeah. You're yeah, able to go wherever you want. And you, like as usual, that's like there's a payment to be yep. made on it's that. It's good and bad. Oh. <laughs> I just realized you can walk across some of them. Yeah, if the gap, like... Yeah, because uh, only a tiny bit of the square needs to touch. I think I can walk across those. I think I can walk across that. Yeah, there's some that are not as far apart. Like those you can walk across, but that one you can't. There you it's go. demon time. Oh, boy. It was just a bad jump, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, very. I, I am really surprised nobody has made this type of game till now. Jumping. I mean, there is Frostbite, which is an example of that. But it, this is a different take trying to get across somewhere. Frostbite is over and over jumping on the ice flows. And the ice flows go away. This one is you crossing across constantly. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, and... Frostbite is awesome. A so danger, I, a danger level that could be added with this, something like this, is what you just said, where you have like the the things are floating on the lava, so you have like ooh. magma, like hardened magma that you land on and it moves or whatever. That would be. I, I can don't know how much. A, I I don't know how much that would change things, but yeah. I think I you could do an upgrade to this. You can you can do part two. Let's say part two. Mm -hmm. They're moving down the screen. The, mm. the 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 ice flows or the, the or rocks, up the screen or up the screen yeah and the monsters are coming down there <laughs> or and, whatever yeah and say like 
in or you um, don't know they move say like in frogger where the turtles disappear they can disappear as well mm. so it would kind of be like uh it'd be like too, too close to frogger at that point yeah it'd be like the top of frogger that yeah that might not work but um you can do a lot with that you can have things you can have them disappear once in a while or once you land on them they disappear like really quickly um or like when you yeah when you land on him like you push them under and so yes. you have to land and then jump again and they start whatever. start going down or something yeah but uh very fun game so that is available right now on the good deal games website there's only five of them so if you want it you need to get it very quickly um or it will be available. and there's 25 available at the show right yes 25 available at let me see what show it is again it is at the 2024 cleveland gaming classic uh don't know if that means this weekend or next week weekend he said next next weekend so that would be not this next it's hard next is very very ambiguous <laughs> oh the next friday this friday no next friday or the next friday is different than next friday silliness so let's see what's coming up on the show very soon we have some exciting stuff actually for your entertainment and ours so we just did that today uh the next two episodes we will be going through all the demos that will be showing at prge because there's a bunch of games that are being shown off that are in works in progress that you can play at the at the booth but not everyone can make it so i thought i'd show them off here um we're also going to be doing an after dark um and as part of that demo day we have an exclusive world premiere of a demo that's going to be there that hasn't been shown yet called pop box arena for hmm. the 2600 uh while we're at prg we're going to be doing a live broadcast either through wi-fi or cell we'll see which one's faster sometimes when you sign up for the wi-fi there it's it's uh, terrible it's terrible depending on how many people are um, um, on it and how much they're using. We'll see. Um, let's see what else is coming out. We're going to do a Vectrex special. I've ordered two new Vectrex games. Uh, Gyrostonomy and Gyrostrology. Uh, that's a double one. And Hira Primera, both shooters. So that'll be sometime in October. Don't know yet where I'll fit it in um also possibly in october we're going to have a interview spotlight with albert Uruso. we thought we we're going to do it before but it's just not possible it's too much stuff going on uh so we're going to do it afterwards but the benefit of that we can talk to him about prg and how it went uh what else let's see oh yes i just put this in the schedule we're gonna have the exclusive world premiere of bob decrescenzo's brand new game bounty bob strikes back for the atari 7800 being released through atari the first atari 7800 game from atari in 33 years so that's going to be pretty fun so we're gonna have a live interview with bob decrescenzo i've had him on the show bunch of times great to talk to so it'll be a lot of fun uh doing that and a whole bunch of stuff as well uh so that'll be in november because that's just before his game gets shipped out from atari i think it's planning on being shipped late november november 24th somewhere around that and of course we'll have the uh holiday homebrew special i've already got one new game that we haven't played before atari miss on the 7800 um there's gonna be no show on the 24th because we're prepping that's tuesday for prg and no show on october 1st because we will be recovering from prge because we're going to be broadcasting three days in a row um from there so that's plenty 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 talking with people all the homebrew um publishers 
a um, bunch of homebrew developers. We'll be walking the showroom floor, going from booth to booth. We'll be checking out uh, the Atari Age booth, the Atari booth, uh, Songbird booth. Uh, we'll talk with John Hancock, friend of the show. Um, any other Atari homebrew people as well? I think that's most. It's of treat them, time. Yum, 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 yum. yum, yum. Another treat time. Oh, you heard it that time. Yeah, Sid, Sid knows the bell. Uh, oh, are you ready, cats? Oh, we got to bet first, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, let me line up the bets. You can bring down everything. Uh, let's start that prediction. Let's see. Once more oh, for camera. God, so yes. Oh yeah, that's oh, true. You guys didn't so see excited. everything. So excited. So let's reset the score. Oh, no escape. Track the Atari. Good. You got the Atari. Let's move these joysticks back. Okay. The uh, the betting has started. So will how well will Sid beat Atari, or will Atari pull it off? Because Sid has had so many treats, Atari will be hungry for revenge. Yeah, I don't know that 10 versus 7 is so <laughs> many treats that any cat is. Oh my god, I'm just so full uh, from the so, 10 treats so I had. Hunger famished. Oh, <laughs> I only had 7, I'm gonna die. <laughs> it could be. It could be. Could be that Sid is distracted. Ooh. Oh, somebody's going for Atari. Oh, a big bet on Atari. On Atari. That's risky, but could pay off big. Could pay off very big. So let's see how that goes. We've got another minute for betting. Puss and bets time. Prepare for stream freeze. Yeah, Twitch is like, <laughs> you can't bet on the stream. Actually, you can. It's built into it. Hey, buddy, you type in some stuff? Yeah, can you stop the keyboarding? He's actually bringing up things. Oh. Can you close down whatever that is? What, what are you trying to do, little mister? He's he's doing things. Hmm. I'm doing this stuff. I was doing this stuff. Doing stuff. Atari's like, that's right. Enforce the rules on that little. Beep. Beep 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 beep. They are hidden under this. Oh, sneaky. Oh, we've got some Sid four plus. It's always a possibility. Nobody's going for Atari three plus. Oh, somebody threw down a tenner. Good idea. It's always good to throw down a tiny bit on Atari 3 Plus. But you can only bet on one thing, you said. Yeah, but if you bet really low, you're mm -hmm. not really risking much, but it's huge But what reward. I mean is that, yeah, I always thought that it was someone was just hedging on those. I didn't oh, realize no, it was no. their whole kit and caboodle. Because you could oh, put... Oh, submission's closed. Because you could put 10, 10, 10, 10. And if other people are betting big, you will you will, you will get paid, paid handsomely for that. Okay, cats. Are you ready? No, you have to go to the bells. No, he doesn't have to do nothing. Okay, ready? And go! Oh, Atari is up by one, and Sid cried. He didn't know what was going on. Oh, he's got a score on the board now. It's 1-1. One, one. Sid is crunching it up. Atari's done. He's back at the bell. He wants more. He wants revenge. It's 2-1. <laughs> Sid is still eating. There is a chance. Atari is up 3-1. Oh my god, what is happening with Sid? He is taking he's really his chewing that he's one. He's savoring his treat. He's savoring it. And Atari's up 4-1. Oh my god, he's batted under the couch. Does that extra bing count? No, it has to be after he's finished eating. And then he goes back to the bell. Because right. sometimes the cats go ding, ding, ding. Oh no. He's done a classic Atari Here. blunder. Here. Show me. Found, found one. Here. Shh. There you go. Oh, he oh, found it. Found okay. It. Hey. Oh, Sid's back at the bell. He's covering it, but Atari's at the blue bell. Sid is still chewing for some reason. Are right, you two? Atari, you got it. Come oh on. My God. Back to the bell. Oh, he's giving up. Good. Come on, hit the bell, somebody. There we go. It's five one Atari. Will this be a blowout? Will that person <laughs> bet on Atari three what plus? What is Sid's brain? He just lost his mind. <laughs> Sid, what's wrong with your brain? Some Dude. You, you young one. Oh, no. that was a ring. It's 6-1 for Atari. Sid is perplexed. He is spinning the ringing bell. He is... Oh, he finally rang it and put another bet on this. Oh, Atari's up 7-2. This is crazy. Sid is... Yeah, I think Sid is high. I don't know. The, the, the catnip took a while to kick in, I guess. 
Oh, eight two. I have not seen a trouncing this bad <laughs> in a long time. That did not ring. No. That did not ring, Sid. Sid is having a lot of trouble right now. It's <laughs> nine two. It is game point. Still no ring. He's trying. He got it. Nine three, but that's too late. Too little, too late. And it's over. There you go, buddy. It's 10-3 three for Atari. <laughs> <laughs> Never count Atari out. Never. Never count him out. Except for when he's out. Except most of the time. Maybe when he's out, then you can count him out. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Crazy! I have never seen Atari get revenge like that. Wow, he was saving up his strength. That's a problem with young talent. Their performance is not consistent. <laughs> that is true. So who are those two people who bet on Atari? Big on Atari. <laughs> no, they bet small on Atari. They just got paid out big. What happened? What is going on? What happened here? What do you mean what happened? It won't let me pay out. It only lets me start another prediction. Oh no! What? What? What happened? This is very strange. Uh, it's still activated because they still have their bets on their names. Yeah. Someone, tech, uh, someone chat a thing. There, there we go. Yeah, I so. can't. I can't do it. I'm going to refresh the page. That's weird. Choose outcome. Oh my god. That's crazy. It's Atari 3 Plus. Way more than 3 Plus. 7. Boom. That's good. I was able to pay out because those people deserve it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thrust and Vitoko. Congratulations. Your bet. I've seen higher, but this is high. Uh -huh. 142 to 1 payout. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See? Throwing those tiny little minimum bets of 10 really paid off. Oh, and Sid's expelling all his energy on his rolly ball. Jingle ball. <laughs> um, so, thank you for tuning in today. Pseudographics, Vitoko, Thrust, Carl G, Dan. The thing that's right is it's not just that it's not just that Atari won, but he spent time under the couch trying to retrieve a snack that, that he knocked too. under there. <laughs> like he, he should have Sid, that should have lost him entirely. And so it was Sid just like could have got away. ten points in the time he was under the couch. <laughs> he is fast. That's I don't know funny. what happened. Sid so unpredictable. Uh, well, he's a little kitty body, and he still <laughs> has that catnip running through his veins. Yep. B.R. Pocock, Cor Concord Ranger, uh, Fernando Salvio, thank you so much for letting us play your awesome game. Uh, Geeks versus Geeks. Uh, Philip Meyer, Bamut Jirai. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Who else was here? Ivory Tower Collections, Philip Meyer, Ground Trooper, Thrust. Who else chatted in the chat? Carl G. Uh, Sid says you're welcome. <laughs> Sid says you're welcome. Ah, uh, oh, is that how it was? Sid, did you throw the game? Because that was entirely out of character. Wow, did, uh, did Thrust uh, slip some treats under the table? Well, we weren't looking to Sid. It could have been. Could have been. Oh, the treat ball. Could have thrown him up. Yep, yep. Who did the treat ball? Maybe that. That's what did it. Where is it? Oh, where's the treat ball? Well, he gave up on the treat ball. I don't see it on here. He gave up on the treat ball. Because um, I wasn't watching the treat Atari, ball. What happened? Atari was in the, the box and there were still snacks in the thing. So even though Atari ate more snacks. Oh, but Atari was just like, ding! <laughs> Atari wasn't like he was he was he was he was pretty steady apart from the craziness under the couch he was pretty steady yeah, he was he but was it was more that just Sid was just like I do not understand bells anymore <laughs> there's a bell there there's a bell there zoo, 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 zoo. <laughs> let's spin the little top very gently yeah I guess the ball could have been an indicator for people if they watch closely 
Sid wasn't really all about the ball. He was like, I'm done with treats. So mm. I think uh, the two people... Insider trading. Yeah, the two people who won, uh, really, Thrust and Batoko, were watching that ball treatment. Day has been a blur. Uh, so thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, I'm going to go for a 5K run later in competition. I feel pretty good about it. It's a cool day. It may rain. Don't like that, but it won't affect the outcome. And what's your time going to be? Um, under 30 for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say as low as 26. I'd like to get 28. 27, 28 is what I'm aiming for. So I think I've rested for a couple days. Been running every second day. Last run, which I really wasn't prepared for, I got 29, I think. And I'm pretty prepared for this one. So I'm aiming for 27, 28. If I get 26, I'll be, I'll be near my best. I've never got 25, but I got 26 something once, uh, a couple years ago, and I was very well prepared. And it was this race because mm. this is the end of the year race. Yeah. And I do two other before that, and so it all builds up to this one. And the other ones are hot. It's so hot outside. Yeah, yeah. This one's cool, so it's the best conditions, yeah. and the most training. Um. So I think that's it so wish me luck i'll report back on tuesday uh tanya hasn't been able to run much so she's not very confident in her score but we'll report, report back on tuesday and i think your friday is going to be during prge so you won't see this guy for a while <laughs> four <laughs> weeks boo no. boo so mm, i don't know boo. when that will be on the where would it be? 11th? Would it be? No, that's way too late. Would it be? Yeah, it would be the 11th, wouldn't it? Yeah, because it's four weeks is a month from Jeez. now. Jeez. Okay, so you'll see him on October 11th, most likely. Um, did you sort out the freeze? Router crash for sure. I can't say it was a router. I rebooted the router and the modem at the same time. Yeah. It was and, not the And computer. the router, like, like downloads worked. And uploads yes. were just complete trash. And usually when it's that, it is the modem. Okay. It's hopped onto a bad frequency. Okay. Because there's different frequencies for uploads and downloads. Yeah, yeah. Um, and if you reboot the modem, it hunts for a good frequency or just another one. Um, so most likely it was the modem. Because I, okay. I played around with the... Uh, the modem or your router? Not you usually the, the router. Okay, yeah, yeah. The only thing that usually solves that, because I've rebooted the router before when it's happened, doesn't doesn't solve it. It's a cable. Is it a cable modem? It is yeah, a cable yeah, modem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually looked into that recently because there's we have telephone, yeah. like whatever, yeah, yeah. fiber through the if, telephone if company. If you have fiber to your building, yeah. Which we do not. I've okay. looked it up. I looked but, up recently. But Shaw has fiber <laughs> to us to a certain. It's, but it's like you you can pay for the fiber plus plan, and there's definitely no fiber to my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I would probably, well, I don't really need the upload speeds. Like when this is fully going properly, it's well beyond what I need for uploading, like well beyond. Um, but the upload speeds I can get with the fiber connection, if they ran it to the house, are like five times the speed. Hmm. It's ridiculously fast upload. So maybe at some point. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a townhouse with a bunch of other people in it, so it would be more likely they would connect this up than other places, than a single house. Because they look for density first for payback for running the fiber. So, But this isn't a super particularly dense neighborhood. There's a lot of houses. It's not like tons of apartment buildings. They're here and there, but yeah. Yeah. But like just getting to the neighborhood is, is the... Yeah, I guess it's I could. Big thing I could check points all over the place. Yeah, because I don't know if they like, have a map. yeah, once they're once they're within your neighborhood, then like, it's like it's not that expensive. I don't no, think, for, so it's just for tiny people. runs. Yeah, it's the big. I mean, the fiber then it becomes, What I mean is, then it becomes the labor, which is always going to be no matter. What. Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, I take it back. I, yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we sorted out this time. It's unfortunate. It just happened during the show, like. I don't notice these things, especially uploads, because if it's happening and then it goes away, it's like, well, I don't usually upload throughout the day.
but during the show I need uploads constant the whole time so it's very very visible okay we're done it's funny blabbing. we had the power out in our neighborhood yesterday and really? we have this like neighborhood like street chat where some oh. where people just they can like well, that's cool chat right yeah and someone posted oh is the power out there and then our neighbor across the street who works for bc hydro said <laughs> not for long <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> did he actually work on it to get it going i think he, either he did yeah or he like Reported like it. knew about it or whatever you know like yeah because yeah. if like i used to work for the cable company mm-hmm and if it was out in my area, <laughs> you it'd knew. be getting on f- back on fast. <laughs> so I can understand him saying not for long. He has, uh, you know, the direct line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You've never been up there before. Oh, exciting times. And I really don't want you up there. Oh, too bad. He, that's It's been discovered. Meow. Now he knows the about the mic. He's going to be on your mic. Because you're going to go to cat jail. In about a week and a half, when we go to PRGE. So we want to clip your claws because we don't want them deadly for the peoples. Oh, Sid is an action cat, not a deadly cat. We're leaving. Bye, everyone. Uh, See you on Tuesday. Have a great, awesome weekend. Sid says bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.